Hi, my name is Scott Hildebrand. I'm with Coal Bankers Select. Welcome to this house in Washington Lane subdivision. As you open the front door, you come in from the outside. You're protected from wind and rain. As you come in, got a high quality door, tile entry. You can go to the right to an office or to the left upstairs. The office could be converted to a fourth bedroom if someone wanted to do that. As you come on into the house, you immediately enter into the family room, living area, fireplace, nice, nice spot for uh, entertainment center, large TVs, whatever you'd like to do there. Lots of open and bright windows, open and bright spaces. It rolls on over into the kitchen and dining area. In the uh, dining area and kitchen, we've, one of the main features is, of course, the ceramic tile floors, granite surface countertops, rolled stone uh, tile backsplashes, You've got new appliances, gas stove and, and cooktop. Um, kitchen island, large kitchen that overlooks the living area. So an easily cleaned kitchen counter space and surface. Uh, that turns from, from the kitchen area, you go out towards the garage and through the uh, utility room. And once you're inside the utility room, you have a folding table area with the window so you can look outside if you're folding laundry. Stepping back in, you're, you've got a large pantry in the kitchen, lighted, plenty of room to store a lot of extras and goodies, lots of cabinet space, lot drawers, again your island. There is power in the island so you can put a little unit over here if you want to cook it with a griddle or a crock pot or that sort of thing at the island. There's actually two spots here that you could have a garbage, not a garbage disposal, but a trash compactor installed. The greatest invention since sliced bread is the enclosed mini blinds, so you don't have to worry about kids, dogs, whatever, tearing those mini blinds up. You can go out back and you step out onto the covered patio. It's a large covered patio area on the south side of the house, so you do get a little bit of evening sun. But once that sun goes to the west, you will have shade and you'll be in great shape. Into the master bedroom, my large, nice size master bedroom with a bay window area. Uh, great for a little seating area, that sort of thing. You've got two or three really good walls to put furniture, televisions, etc. You've got the pan ceiling, nice ceiling fan so that it's got a nice look, crown molding, etc. Master bathroom, uh, ceramic tile floors. You've got his and her closets. Large closets on either side of the tub. It's a six foot whirlpool tub with jets, so you can actually get into it and relax with the hot water and the whirling water. There's your other uh, large closet. This one may actually be a little bit larger than the first one. It's got a little bit of a recessed space back here, not a lot, but a little additional space. Once again, you've got uh, behind the door here to our right is the uh, Separate shower with a little sitting area so that that's available. You've got the dual sinks, another little cabinet, the small pull out drawer, and some larger pull out drawers for storage of some uh, what other items that may need to be stored. Back down this hallway, again, you've got the uh, split plan. So you've got the bedrooms to one side of the house, living space, and then kitchen and everything to the other side of the house. And the bedrooms are split as well. You have the master in its own area and its own hallway. And a separated hallway with bedrooms two and three and possibly four with that office that could be uh, the fourth bedroom. This front bedroom has a vaulted ceiling. To give it a much larger feel and plus it's a large sized room to begin with. So this is a good, good bedroom. Great for teens or whoever, guests, whatever. Uh, a fairly wide closet. You'll notice most of these closet doors are extra wide for good and easy access. Second bathroom is just a standard guest bathroom, but it does have ceramic tile floor. A nice cabinetry as well. At the entry, you have the uh, stairwell going upstairs, which does turn and come back this direction, which provides for a nice freighty hole that we like to call it here in Oklahoma. So you have plenty of storage, and as this goes around, it wraps back and underneath, so you've got storage for. Uh, Christmas items or a place to get away and from those spring thunderstorms we're so famous for here. You have a nice place here to display a family portrait or some painting or something along that line. Uh, there's a plug-in here so if it's something that needs a light you have that available to you. As we arrive at the top of the stairs, 
we step off into an 18 by 25 game room that's upstairs, completely separated from the rest of the house, a place the kids can tear apart if you want them to or whatever. But there's ample space. We have this huge upstairs closet. Hard to see, but it does go in both, uh, both directions from the door. So there's plenty of storage, place to put games, place to put extra clothes, off-season clothes, that sort of thing. You have the ceiling fan. There's multiple air supplies, so it should be a room that remains cool and in the uh, summertime and warm in the wintertime. Lots of plug-ins around. You've got cable and telephone access right here, so you shouldn't have any trouble with uh, in terms of entertainment. Lots of windows, great for natural sunlight and exposure. We'll view the rest of the neighborhood. I don't know if you can see it through the window, but out to the back and about three blocks away is the neighborhood splash park uh, and playground area for younger children if you have those. If you're in, interested in a little more storage space, you can open this door right here at the top of the stairs. There's a small landing for some storage space and access to the heating and cooling units. And there would be a place to put some more storage if a person wanted to do so. Hi, my name's Scott. I've been in the real estate business in the Tulsa market for about nine, going on ten years now. It's been a very, very successful business for my family and I. We look forward to serving others in the future. We appreciate your time taking a look at this home and if you have interest in learning about my services, please give me a shout at 918-640-9133 or send me an email at scotthcbtulsa.com.